first thing they promised us if a conservative government was elected, war. Yeah. Churchill the warmonger would plunge it into war. <laughs> Only a year ago. That was what they were using. Well, it has not happened yet. On the contrary, there is a general feeling in the world that on the whole, the danger of world war has receded since we became responsible. I've used the word memorable about our conference. Let us also endow it with lasting effect. Let us march forward with our uh, sturdy lions, jaunty lions, yeah, unconquerable lions. Make no mistake, this campaign's important. Only recently, a socialist pamphlet uh, recognized the dividends which the 1948 recruiting campaign has paid our party in the last two general elections. Now we want those members, as well as our tried and faithful supporters, to bring home to others the solid achievements of the government to date. Be under no illusions. The Conservative Party has saved this country from bankruptcy, and no other party could have done it. A return to socialism would be a major disaster for this country. We can only prevent it by enrolling, so far as possible, every one of our known supporters. We must win over the waverers, that body of changing opinion which always features so largely in the Gallup polls. Moreover, members alone aren't enough. We want active party mem members and workers ready and willing to mould public opinion. Remember, this is no general's battle. This is a battle that must be fought by every one of us in every constituency in this country. So go on with the good work that you have been doing for the Conservative Party. And remember that the Conservative government will be doing its best to back you up. candidate at the election was as follows. John Hall, 26,750. John Edwin Hare, 24,600. I want to thank all... My friends, can I just start with, thank all of you who have supported me so magnificently during this campaign. 
And before I go on, may I say to you how much I've appreciated the very clean fight this has been and how well it's been waged by my opponent, Mr. John Hare.